I am so sweaty. Oh, <gasps> that's embarrassing. Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to bring you today's video because it's essentially part two of a 12 month series that I am doing in the year of 2021, which is trying to get my life together by working out, eating healthy, it's all the things that I know nothing about right now. I hope to learn about, grow into, and start this whole health journey of mine throughout this year. I already started this in January. I decided to do Chloe Ting's 28 day 2021 flat tummy challenge, I think it's called. I have a whole video on that transformation, the befores and afters, what I thought of the program, all of that I will link that down below and that's what I did in January and in February I decided to do the 12 3 30 and if you haven't heard of the 12 3 30 it is essentially a workout trend I don't know it popped off because Lauren Giraldo if I'm saying the last name right she's a youtuber she had lost a lot of weight she started this health journey and people were asking her what she did and she said she did the 12 3 30 every day along with other things but she really accredited a lot of like the weight shredding and everything to her 12 3 30 that she did every day so now everybody's been doing it it is really popular if you haven't heard of it and so I decided to give it a try to see really what the hype is about, if it is worth the hype, what my results would be, and just overall what I thought of the workout itself. And so 12 through 30 is essentially a treadmill workout that you do at 12 incline at three speed and for 30 minutes. And so I decided to do that for the month of February as like my February challenge. Now for me specifically, I decided to do it Monday through Friday in February. So I did take Saturdays and Sundays off. I did not miss a workout day. I would wake up early and go get it done. If you're new to my channel and you want to join me on like a beginner's fitness journey, because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm starting from ground zero, just trying new things, figuring out what I like, figure out what I don't like, what works for me, what doesn't. And that's the whole point of these challenges in essence is just for me to figure out what works for me. If you want to join me, go ahead and subscribe down below. Turn on your post notifications that way you don't miss any videos because of course there will be a new video like this every month recapping the challenge that I did before. But you can also follow me over on Instagram because I do morning check-ins, like daily check-ins with what I'm doing, letting you guys know that I'm at the gym, how it's going, all that kind of stuff. So like daily updates can happen on Instagram. And then at the end of every month, you guys will get a recap video of how that challenge worked out for me. Before we dive on into the footage from the 12 3 30 workout itself. I will show you, of course, my befores, what I looked like before I started this challenge, which would be my afters of the Chloe Ting challenge is now my befores for 12 3 30. So let's take a look at those. And I said this in my Chloe Ting challenge, for myself, I did not take measurements of my waist or my weight or anything along those lines because right now I'm still in the beginner stages of trying to figure out what I'm doing, as I said, and those numbers are not important to me. What's important to me is figuring out, do I like the exercise? Do I feel like I got a good workout? Am I sweaty at the end of it? Do I see results? But not so much correlated with weight because that can fluctuate and muscle weighs more than fat and just like, there's just so much with that and I don't wanna worry about what's on the scale. So I do not have beginning measurements or anything like that, but I do have before and after pictures. So I will show some like static pictures of my myself before here because I really want to do this health fitness journey in a healthy way for myself like mentally but also bodily and I'm starting slow starting with just building a habit of working out and then I will start integrating healthy choices as far as meals and we'll just work our way up from there. I did the 12 through 30 every morning in my apartment complexes gym so I did not bring my camera with me every single day however I filmed tried to every single day a little like either check-ins or while I'm doing it on my phone so all this footage is gonna be for my iPhone which is a 12 pro so hopefully you know it's good quality but I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm not gonna take a whole camera down there to the apartment complex like the gym, people look at me like I'm crazy. And I only really tried to talk when nobody else was in there because I also didn't want people to think I was crazy because I live here. I can't be seen as the crazy girl. So let's dive into how the 12 3 30 went for me. Monday. I'm down here. It's like 8 a.m. I have the whole gym to myself today, which is great. Usually at least like two people walk in and do their thing while I'm here. We're gonna do this 12 3 30. It's actually very tiring. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. I usually try to find like a really long week in my life from someone that's like a 30 minute video so that way I can just watch that whole video and I know that at the end of the video I'll be done. It's like a good mind thing. I don't know. Let's do this.
I just got done with today's workout. So we're officially a week and two days into this, but I can't say it's starting to get easier. I know that the first week it was like really hard to keep up that pace, but it is starting to get easier and I'm happy about it. morning guys and happy wednesday my hair looks atrocious okay for now i have the gym to myself again usually there's at least like one person in here with me so just wanted to check in i try to get down here at like 8 a.m every day just because i want to get my day started so far that's been working out very well but what i've been doing the past couple days because we're getting closer and closer to like puppy time i've been watching like puppy training videos and you could just do anything while you're here you could watch a lecture not that you could really take notes but you could do a lot of things while you're working out so i try to watch some videos or something all right let's do this I just finished today's workout. If you follow me on Instagram, I yesterday at the end of the day was not my day. So waking up, I really didn't want to get up or go work out, but I'm glad I did. I can say that I've never regretted a workout. Like I might not want to do it. And yet if I do it, I always feel better afterwards, but it's just the mindset beforehand to like get up and do it is the hardest part. So I'm glad that I got up and did it. I always drink so much water doing this, but I also like run out of breath because <laughs> this is actually really hard. But while you're trying to drink, then I'm not breathing. And then by the time I'm done drinking, I'm like, <laughs> trying to catch my breath on the treadmill <laughs> going great guys good morning guys and happy friday we made it to two weeks i mean i haven't worked out yet but after today i would have completed two weeks of 12 3 30 and i'm feeling good it's literally second nature at this point to just get up and come down here and work out like as soon as my alarm goes off i'm like i'm gonna go work out which is my goal of even the chloe ting challenge that i started with and like where i'm at now it's just building that habit and i'm happy with it usually right when i hop on i automatically go ahead and bump it up to 12 but i will start at maybe like two just to kind of like warm up and then bump it up to like two five two point five after like a minute or two and so within five minutes i'm up at like the 12 three and then i go for 30 minutes so last day of week two let's do this do y'all see how red my face is i am so sweaty <gasps> That's embarrassing. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, that's disgusting. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this will make sense to any of you guys, but today was the first day that I was able to do it without like taking breaks to hold on, if that makes sense. Because like on the treadmill, you know, you have your like side handles that you could like hold. I don't hold those. There's also ones up front that I kind of hold on to where the controls are. Sometimes like if I'm just going and I get too tired that I'll like hold on to that and it offers support. And for whatever reason, it doesn't tire me out as much. And then sometimes I'll even just like lean back and like keep walking. Like I've never stopped to take a full break. I always go, I've always done the full half hour and not stopped at the 12 and the three but today was the first day that i did not hold on at all for the full half hour and it was exhausting and i know that that's how you're supposed to do it i just needed to like ease myself into it because definitely the first day i was holding on like every three seconds and it's progressively gotten like less and less that i have to hold on which is good and then today i just told myself like marissa don't touch it you can do it and i could i was tired and i was like marissa just do it but i pushed through and i'm glad i did because it does feel good to do that but that's of course like the hardest part and that's why i'm so like tired and sweaty it's just like it's a sweaty workout if you're doing it like that but i feel good about it though i'm glad i did that the first workout of week three is over and i'm exhausted good morning i just finished my workout for the day but i can tell you that i absolutely did not want to work out today i was not feeling it at all usually right when i start i go to like the 12 incline but i'll start at like the 20 or 2.5 and i'll stay there for maybe two minutes to like warm up and then i'll go to three but i end up having to stay in like the 2.5 for like 10 minutes just because i just i don't know i just was not feeling it and i was on a roll of i think this would have been my wednesday this would have been my fifth day like doing it without like holding on to anything however i just i don't know i'm feeling very tired my legs were sore today for some reason which i haven't experienced yet so i was just like holding on i was going slow but i still did it i just i don't feel as like sweaty or like as worked out as i normally get like my face is usually beet red i didn't want to not do it and ruin like my streak because i've been so good but sometimes you just have those days and today was one of those days for me so <laughs> Good morning guys and happy Thursday. This might be a little bit of TMI, but that I'd share because I'm sharing my whole experience and I'm getting ready to go down to the gym. It's Thursday. And for the past like two days, I know I checked in yesterday. I don't know if I did on Tuesday. For the past like two days and today, I just haven't wanted to get out of bed and go and work out. Like it has just been like, I don't want to do it, which is weird for me because normally I'm like so excited to do it. And then this morning I started my period and that kind of explains it. That's why I haven't wanted to work out, which can be good because now I like know why, but also it can be bad because I'm like, but Marissa, you're on your period. Like give yourself great race don't go work out which i could do like i need to go work out so i'm gonna go do it but if i have to do it again like yesterday where i'm holding on and going slow or whatever like i don't know i just i just want to physically do it and so that's what we're gonna do today and i hope that maybe if you're watching this like that motivates you or like i don't know so let's go get it done Happy week four. Happy Tuesday. I didn't get to check in yesterday because there were so many people in the gym. And usually I like to check in with you guys before I start, but there's people in here when I started. Now there's no one in here. I'm taking advantage of the time. And this is what I sound like only 12 minutes in. Oh, 
But just a quick update. I did it yesterday. I'm still that time of the month in. And so yesterday, I think I held on for like the first 15 minutes. Feeling better today. Not holding on today. 13 minutes in. Watching a Brooke Michio Week in My Life vlog. And we're gonna finish out the last week strong. Let's do this. Holy heck. I just finished my workout. Do you see how sweaty I am? Like there was literally like a drip that I had to like wipe off my chin. Happy last day of 12, 3.30. I cannot believe it. I'm freaking pumped. I made it a full month of doing this. Monday through Friday and I didn't miss a day and for me that is big and we're gonna get started with the last one like holy shit and that is it for our last 12 3 30 I had to finish strong so no holding on today and I feel good about it nice and sweaty I usually have a nice little driplet of sweat right there love that for me so great for you guys to look at <laughs> now I can go upstairs go shower and get on with my day and you guys can watch the outro and my final thoughts befores and afters so let's get into it and there you have it folks the live footage of me trying the 12 3 30 how long each day checking with you guys it honestly like my final thoughts of the workout is it was hard like it took me a full first week as you guys heard to really get into it and be able to do it to the full capacity that i was supposed to do it jumping straight into just 12 3 30 was really hard in the beginning i had to start at a lower speed i didn't jump into just the 12 right away and the 30 right away but i kind of started with like maybe two miles an hour then i went up to 2.5 then i was finally at three and even then for a couple days or so i was like holding on to any of the railings and i was just like winded and i'm like oh my gosh and then finally Finally, by the end of it, I was able to just like pump it out and do it, which is when I really felt the effects of the 12 3 30. Like these pictures are gross, I know, but I got sweaty. Like that workout just gets you sweaty. It really is a hard workout. It's good cardio. It's like not too long. Like 30 minutes is manageable. I have 30 minutes every morning to go and do that. And I just felt well worked out afterwards. And at least as a beginner, it didn't seem like it was something unmanageable. Cause like, again, 30 minutes is not that long, but also I could just watch YouTube videos. I could watch Netflix. You could do whatever you wanted. It was only 30 minutes. And that was fun for me because I could just watch puppy videos. I could watch Brooke Minchia. Like I could do whatever I wanted to do while I was just walking there for 30 minutes. And even afterwards I started hanging out and just walking at a lower speed for maybe like five or 10 minutes afterwards while I like scrolled on my phone, checked my emails, you know, posted on the Instagram and stuff like that. Like I would try to just get work done while I was walking on the treadmill. So that way I was also just killing two birds with one stone which was really helpful so i think it's like a beginner exercise like for sure i loved it because it wasn't too hard it wasn't too long and i could like have fun while i was doing it and at least moving forward i genuinely liked it so much that i would love to integrate it into like a daily kind of routine for me like even when i do a next like workout challenge i would love to do that maybe for 15 minutes as like a warm-up a good cardio and then i hop into whatever workout i'm doing or even on those like rest days that i'm not like working out i could go and do that as like an active rest day because i don't really feel sore afterwards it's just getting my body moving which I really liked and of course the moment that we've all been waiting for is the after so let's take a look at what I look like after doing the 1230 for the entire month of February a slight difference and I was even thinking that with the Chloe Ting one where at first like daily looking at myself I'm like I don't look that different but then when I actually put those pictures in those videos side by side I'm like dang like there is slight differences whether it's in my back which a lot of people kind of pointed out in the Chloe Ting or like in my love handle area it's like it's just different and I did notice like a slight difference in like my butt area like it's not getting bigger by any means but like it's just plumping I don't know what the right word is because it's weird talking about my butt but it's just like little things that I can tell made a difference which I really like like I'm not expecting life-changing results results. I just wanted to try it and I did like it so much that again I want to keep doing it because I think it's really good cardio and once again it's more of like an internal change with me because February was so easy to work out. I was already in the habit from January. I just would get up and go. There was only like one or two days I really didn't want to mainly because it was like that time of the month like girl reasons so I just felt really good in February like being on my workout grind and like wanting to get up and go work out and just being ready to do it which is why I'm really excited for March's workout challenge in a way because I really want to get into like like maybe actual like lifting or working out. Who knows? The day that I'm filming this, at least, I don't know what I'm doing yet for March, but I, of course, will share that on my Instagram. So again, if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should because you guys can either do the challenges with me. We can check in on each other. It'll be lots of fun. And also don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications. That way you don't miss any other videos, future challenge update videos, all that fun stuff. And I will leave this video on today's notable quotable, which just comes from Pinterest because it's very fitting for today's video. And it says, the best weight you'll ever lose is the weight of other people's opinion of you. And I want you 
want you to write that down, put it on your mirror every morning, like daily affirmations, say it to yourself because it truly is the best way you'll ever lose. At least for me, this isn't about losing weight. It's just about feeling good in my body, feeling confident in my body and not giving a fuck what other people think. Because most people who have a foul opinion of you don't know you enough. And so does their opinion even matter if they don't even know you? If they're not close to you, if my number is not in their phone and they're not on my speed dial, their opinion of me does not matter. So whether you're starting a health and fitness workout journey or whether you're not, lose the weight of other people's opinion of you. And I will leave it there. I love you guys so much, more than you'll ever know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.